Hello YouTube. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial for streaming Destiny 2 from a gaming PC to another PC. Um, in my case I'm streaming Destiny 2 from my big gaming rig to a Surface Pro 2 and it allows me to take my mobile computer into other parts of the house or you know for whatever reason you know, it gives me a, ver uh, a mobile way to play Destiny or other games on the go. And um, normally we can accomplish this without much hassle. So there's services out there like Steam and Home Streaming, um, and NVIDIA Game Stream, or Moonlight that would let you do this with, with very little setup. Um, Bungie has made this harder with Destiny 2. So they've disabled overlays in the game and all of those streaming services use overlays for controller detection. So you might be able to launch the game, but you won't be able to use your controller if you do so. So this tutorial is about streaming the game and also having controller support on your streaming computer so that it, everything comes together and you can play smoothly. And uh, we'll start with the streaming computer. We'll, we'll break down what we're using and then I'll demo it so that you guys can see it in action. So on this uh, Surface Pro 2, the first thing you might notice is on the side, I have a Bluetooth USB dongle attached, which is weird because the Surface Pro 2 has native Bluetooth. The challenge is that one of the pieces of the equation is a software called Virtual Here. It's a USB software that allows you to share a USB device across the network independently of a game. And the Virtual Here software only works with USB devices. So we have to use a USB Bluetooth dongle so that we can also use our Xbox S controller. So that's one piece of the equation. Also on the streaming computer, you're gonna want a copy of Steam and you're gonna want a copy of Moonlight Game Streaming. Um, I'm using the Chrome version, so it's, it's a Chrome extension. And uh, you'll notice right now, I've already got the virtual here server running on this computer. And I'll pull it up so you can see. So it's already running, and the, it's important to note that on the streaming computers, the computer that's gonna be mobile, uh, the non-gaming computer, you need to have the server version of virtual here running, not the client. So we'll minimize that and then switch gears and move over here to the big PC. And we don't need Cortana open. So on the gaming PC, you need to have a copy of Steam, you need to have your Destiny 2 installed, and you need to have the Virtual Here client software installed. And I'll show you that real quick. Uh, virtual Here. And uh, if you take a good look, it shows that it's running um, this is the Bluetooth dongle that's attached to the Surface Pro 2, so it's being shared across the network, and it's in use, meaning that it's connected. So that controller is, is usable on both computers right now. So we'll close that, and we'll go ahead and we'll demo how the whole thing works together. So on your streaming computer, you're going to open up Moonlight, and then you're going to connect to your computer, and from there, we're going to open up Steam. Now as a note, you do want to have Moonlight configured before you do any of this, and you want to have the GeForce experience and all the stuff that goes along with that working. Now you'll notice, and I'll set this in front of it so you can see it happening as I do it, but the controls work, there's no delay, it's all very quick and responsive, and if we switch gears and go back over to the gaming PC, you see the same thing reflected. So same buttons, same responsiveness, same controller. So let's go over here and put it all together with Destiny 2. So you'll see that I've got Destiny 2 set up as a shortcut here. And we're just gonna click it and then go over to play. Now we are using um, a custom Destiny 2 launcher and there's a little bit of a delay added to the launch of the game because of the custom launcher, but basically it's just opening up battle.net and then automatically opening up the Destiny 2 executable from there. And uh, we just gotta wait, and it should be up in just a moment. There we go. So if we go over here and hit A, it detects our controller immediately, just as if we were sitting at the computer doing it without streaming. OK, 
Okay, and then we'll move that stick so we get our controller interface. Hit A. Just doing a quick demo. This isn't as much about playing Destiny 2 as it is demoing the streaming and the controller support. So we'll hit that. I just started the game, so there's not much to see here. And then go down here to launch. But uh, it's streaming beautifully. Um, the Surface Pro 2 is connected with 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Um, I'm using an Asus router, it's actually downstairs. So pretty good performance for being a couple rooms and a floor away. And the uh, gaming PC is wired with Ethernet to the downstairs. And uh, just try to show a little bit of the responsiveness. And I apologize, I'm doing this one-handed so it's not going to be super fluid. But you can see the controller is working, you know, working as expected. You can see how quick the buttons are responding. And uh, you know, generally pretty awesome. And uh, we'll go ahead and get out of the game. And go back over here. And then exit the desktop. That puts us back in Steam. And we'll go ahead and stop the stream. And you'll notice that it does confirm that we are streaming. If I can get it to focus, yep, stop streaming. That puts us back inside of Moonlight. And I can just use the Windows button to get out of Moonlight. Whoops, hit the wrong button there. And then we'll just quit. So we're back where we started. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about the details. Um, I tried initially to do this with just Steam and home streaming and with the custom launcher for Destiny and with the, the virtual here software and I couldn't get it to work. So when I use just Steam and home streaming, as soon as I launched the game, it would lose focus. So on my streaming computer, I would be back in my native copy of Steam and then the game would launch by itself on the gaming computer so it wouldn't actually stream it it would get disconnected as I launched and I tried both the normal version and the beta versions of Steam and it looks like it's just a, an issue with launching this way so Moonlight got around that for me now some of you guys that are more into Steam and want to play around with that may be able to get that part of it working maybe updates in the future make that part work so that's important uh, a special note is that for this to work your gaming PC the one that's doing all the work needs to have an NVIDIA graphics card that's capable of game stream. So the, the main gaming PC can't use AMD, to my knowledge. If somebody knows differently, correct me, but that's the only way that I've ever gotten it to work. And uh, the client PC can really be whatever you want. So like the Surface Pro 2 that I'm showing here, doesn't have a dedicated graphics card. It's got just the Intel HD graphics and that's plenty to handle the stream and to handle all the video from this. And um, virtual here introduces virtually no latency with the controls. They work really well. And uh, something that I may add as a video later, it Moonlight does allow you to play games remotely. So like if I took the Surface Pro 2 to a friend's house or somewhere else that had internet, I could launch that game. And uh, as long as you've got enough uh, upload speed from home and enough download speed at the other location and you're relatively close in terms of physical distance, you know, within like 50 or 60 miles, it'll generally play about the same. Um, with virtual here, you're supposed to be able to install your virtual here USB system to a cloud so that you can still use that remotely as well. And uh, that's something I haven't had time to play with and, and I think that would be a cool addition so that I can take this out of the house. But my, my main goal was to be able to have this game on my surface so that if the kids were downstairs watching TV and tying up the main TV that I could still be in that room and uh, still enjoy the game without locking myself up in the office to play it. So this accomplishes that. It's a little bit convoluted. There's quite a bit to it. I'm going to put the details like the actual install details and links to the files that I used in the description and uh, you guys are welcome to ask questions. Uh, this is the only method that I've got working. This is the only way that I've tried, so I'll do my best to answer any questions that you guys might have. But um, 
proof of, of concept. You guys can see that it does work. And uh, unless something changes in the future, I expect it to continue working. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like it, please like it in the video and in the comments below. And uh, until next time.